DFD system is a huge controversy in Panasonic mirrorless cameras. It supports adjusting the sensitivity and speed, which may influence its performance. In this test, we are going to test various combinations of sensitivity, speed and frame rate. The procedure is easy. It consists of 4 seconds drive forward, 2 seconds of waiting, 4 seconds drive back and again 2 seconds waiting. After that, the process is repeated, but it is faster. The movement takes 3 seconds only and in the last step even faster 2 second movement is used. I will test the combination of sensitivities minus 3, 0 and plus 3, speed minus 5, 0 and plus 5, as well as the difference between 60 frames per second and 24. Let's begin with 60 frames per second and fix sensitivity to minus 3, so the speed will vary. Lower speed settings seem to be quite lazy. On the other hand, higher values may lead to abrupt changes which are not very smooth. The sensitivity is in its default value now. As you can see, the camera reacts to the movement almost immediately and it is keeping the car focused almost all the time. When the speed of car is increased, the lower speed settings start to lose it. In the fastest movement, the quickest AF setting is also sometimes not able to keep up with the car. And finally, the most sensitive setting. I would say that it's usually worse as it reacts maybe too quickly and the autofocus system can be quicker than the object, so it has to wait for it. In general, I do not think that maximal values are the best. It seems that default ones or slightly increased may be fine for a lot of situations, but do not put that to extreme. The second part of our comparison will use fixed AF speed and the sensitivity will vary. Still, these tests are performed in 4K at 60 frames per second. With AF speed set in minus 5, it can keep pace with the slow object. Higher sensitivity may help. As you can see, the performance may vary and sometimes the most sensitive setting can be the worst and last. Default speed is tested now. Lower sensitivity usually reacts slowly, higher one is sometimes active more than it should be. The default one usually provides the most consistent results. That can be true even for the faster movements as you can see in this test. Let's try the fastest AF speed setting. I would not recommend it much as the autofocus is faster more than it should be which creates more wobbling. It overdoes it, returns, then it is behind, it overdoes it and so on. The third part will try the same test as before, but the 24 frames per second videos were used now. Theoretically, it should be worse as the system has lower amount of frames to recognize what's going on. And it really seems that the camera is a little bit more sluggish. When it finishes the autofocus movement, it usually overdoes it, which causes some focus hunting in almost all the cases. Let's increase the sensitivity to a default value. It's usually a little bit better. Focus hunting is not a problem anymore, but it is still quite slow and it often reacts late. It really seems that autofocus performance is not great in 24p videos. The highest sensitivity now. 
I would probably go for a slightly increased speed. Zero is a little bit slow, plus five is too accurate and sometimes overdoes it. The fourth part of our test begins now. It's testing 24p videos with a fixed speed and the sensitivities will be different. The lowest speed cannot keep pace with the car in any of the tested cases. The default speed seems much more reasonable. In 24p videos, there is still a problem that the camera is deciding what to do for a long time. It applies for the highest sensitivity as well. Finally, the highest speed plus 5 was reached. We can see some focus hunting especially in the combination of the highest speed and the lowest sensitivity, which may seem surprising. As usual, I would say that the most consistent results are achieved by values around 0. Mostly, you shouldn't go lower, but also not much higher. The fifth and the last test compares 24p and 60p videos with the same setting. Now we can clearly compare the differences between them. With the lowest settings both for the sensitivity and speed, 60p mode is a clear winner. Even though it's also unable to keep up with the car, it performs better. The speed is set to minus 5, but the sensitivity was increased to a default value. 24p is usually more sluggish, but none of them performs well. The low AF speed is really a problem, and I would not recommend to use it unless it's your intent to have slower FPC. Now, the weird combination of slow air speed by high sensitivity. Nevertheless, it seems it works reasonably well for 60p mode where it is able to follow the car relatively well. It's capable to keep the car sharp most of the time when it is in its 3 second movement, but it's unable to do so in the quickest one. Let's use more reasonable default speed and start with a low sensitivity. Using this setting, both of the systems perform similarly. In one case, 24p seem better, in the other, 60p seem to perform in a better way. In general, using this setting, the differences are really small and not important. Probably one of the best combinations of settings for this kind of test is both the default speed and sensitivity. 24p is usually sluggish to start refocusing, 60p is much more active and ready. It works nicely for almost all the cases and the fastest movement of the car is the only situation when it's unable to keep up with it all the time. When the sensitivity is increased, 24p mode still cannot follow the car reasonably quickly. On the other hand, 60p mode can be active more than it should and the image starts to wobble.
we continue with the higher speed setting and low sensitivity. It seems it's probably the worst combination of all. Low sensitivity makes the autofocus unresponsive and when it finally reacts, the high speed makes unnatural abrupt movements and may cause some focus hunting. In this case, maximal ASP is combined with the default sensitivity. It performs better, but it still shows the fact that using the highest speed is not a good idea. It usually creates quick jumps in focus distance and the refocusing may not be smooth. Finally, both exchange together. High speed is combined with the high sensitivity. Both the modes 24p and 60p are able to follow the car reasonably quickly. Due to the most aggressive setting, the changes are not very smooth and your videos probably will not look much professionally when using this setting. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you next time!